I got bored and I built myself a facial detection flamethrower. You may be asking, what is the point of this? Is this useful? Will it bring greatness to society? The answer is no. I got inspired by a bunch of other science channels like Michael Reeves, Alan Penn, William Osmond. And I just want to do something fun. Let me show you how it works and how I built it. Let's go. Here's a quick game plan. We get a couple servos, they're just small motors, and a webcam. The webcam tracks a face using a library, such as OpenCV, and sends that information back to the servos. Next, we get a flammable spray and lighter. You know where that's going. Finally, we design and 3D print a mount that hooks them all together. Alright, we're ready, let's go. I have these two pen and tilt servos. The setup's really simple. I connected this to an Arduino, which gets information from my computer. So if we run it, Yes, that is picture. If I tell the servo to go left, it'll go left. If I tell it to go right, it'll go right. If I go, tell it to go up, it'll go up and down. With this, we can easily tell where the torque to point. I asked my friend Sebastian to help me with 3D modeling parts for my project. This is because I have pretty much zero experience using Fusion 360 and without him, this would have been way harder. Shout out to Sebastian. Time to go print. I'm going on campus now. I'm going to a place called The Construct. It's a place where you can like 3D print stuff, use power tools. I just need this place because I don't have the tools at home. A lot of these printers are in use like 24 seven because people got the end of the year projects going on. It has like that melted plasticky smell in here, but it smells kind of good. You know, like when you like smell gasoline, you know it's bad for you, but it smells so good. It's kind of like that. You know the old saying, measure twice and cut once? <laughs> I measured once and cut like 10 different times. Okay, so now it's time to build the firing part of our components. So what I have here is a WD-40 can. Pretty simple. I just picked this up at my local auto store, like AutoZone. This is the 3D printed part that I'm going to be putting on top of this can. You can see it slides in right here. It has these two holes for the handle. And this spot right here is actually for the servo to go in. So I slide in the servo here and I'll be able to turn the handle. The handle, of course. Ta-da! Okay, let's give this a test run. I'm gonna use this handy dandy Wegmans pizza box. Focus, focus, there's pizza on your focus. <laughs> to see if it will actually spray. Let's put it right there. Test one. All right, taped a lighter to this thing. Let's go outside and test it out. When it's cold outside, I'm gonna keep my black ass in this house. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Well, no more problem. Nice. Flamethrower test one. This time we're going to use a webcam. As we can see, the turret is moving with our face. It is detecting our face and moving with us. This is pretty freaking cool. I found a problem. Oh my god. Turns out that randomly drilling holes doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to actually measure this length to the servo and redrill a new hole tomorrow. See you then. Alright, so I repunched some holes and let's see if this works now. Hopefully it will. 
Test number one. Let's do this. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna build this all together at once now. So this is the bottom plate. This is where the servos are gonna sit, right in here. Cut out for the wires to go through. And this, it does say, uh, baby burner. And this is where the WD-40 can is gonna sit right in. Start building this. I can tell the difference between all the- Okay, Sebastian, help me find a baby to spray with silly string. How much is this? Ten dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Ugh. Bro, what did you do to this? <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do a live test to see if it detects the baby's face. So here's the baby in question. Let's see if it's picked up by the camera. It looks like it's being picked up. So if you move it from side to side, we move from side. Side. It looks like it's tracking the baby's face correctly. I think we can purchase this one. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. Are you ready to be burned? I think you're ready to be burned. Let's look at the result of this poor child. Oh no. I've made a grave mistake. We should check if this face is actually still recognized by our program. I don't think it's recognized anymore. Oh no. Wait. Never mind. It's sort of picking it up. Hey, it picked it up. Nice. At the end of every project in software engineering, you do something called the retrospective. It's just like a summarization of your final thoughts. So I'll give you my retrospective. Yeah. I had a good time making this. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about OpenCV, how to use servos, and a bunch of other niche things like Fusion 360. This was out of my comfort zone because I really haven't worked with hardware like this before. So it's nice to actually explore new things. I'm definitely interested in doing projects like this in the future. A second thanks to my friend Sebastian. He helped me a lot during this project. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. I'm a new channel, so I appreciate you. All right. Peace.